So you've seen how to do the inverse on the standardized normal, or z. Now we need to know how to do this for any kind of variable that follows a normal distribution. So remember our little formula for transforming between the z and another normally distributed variable, which we're calling x, looks like this. So first of all, we have to find the inverse for z, and then we will apply, apply the transformation that tells us what x would be for that equivalent value of z. So, easiest to show you with an example. We've got the heights measured in x centimetres of a group of students. They follow a normal distribution with mean of 150, standard deviation 6. 80% of the pupils are shorter than x centimetres, so find x. So, x follows a normal distribution like this. We're told that the probability that x is less than this value we're looking for is 80%, so that's 0.8. So, that looks like that. First of all, we're going to find out what z would be. So phi of z has to be 0 0.8. So on the standardised normal, we read off the table what value would give us an answer of 0 0.8, and that would be 0 0.842. Just whip out your standard uh, normal table and check that you can find that. Now that we know z, we need to transform it so that we can get the x value. Remember, x minus mu over sigma equals z, so we can replace that z with that little transformation thing there. Now if we substitute in what those values are, the mean is 150 and the, the standard deviation is 6, so we know that x minus 150 over 6 has to equal 0 0.842. So then rearranging that, we can work out what x would be. So we found what the z value would be and then worked backwards through that transformation formula that's at the top left there to be able to work out x. Let's have another look at a, an example. Uh, so we've got weights of babies this time following a normal distribution with mean of 3.5 standard deviation 0.3. The central 80% of weights are considered normal. We want to know what range of weights this is. So, x follows the normal distribution. And it's going to look like this. We want that middle 80%. So, to do this, we need to figure out what those outside values would be to make that middle bit 80%. So, we'd have 10% on either side. So, the probability that z is less than z1 would be 0 0.9, 80 plus the 10 underneath, so that we would get that 90%. So reading off the table, that z value has to be 1.282. We take away the mean and divide by sigma to get that uh, value for 1.282 from the x value, so we'll rearrange that to work out what that first x value is. Now we need to do it on the other side as well. So z2 would be minus 1.282, because this is all symmetrical about the mean. So x2, by rearranging again, so times by 0 0.3 and add on the 3.5, we'll get 3.1154. So our normal range is going to be between those two values.